Good evening, YouTubers. New time travel, Jaime88. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Throwback Thursday review. Tonight on my channel, I am going to look at and review Diamond Select USS Enterprise NCC 1701E. This toy is made by Diamond Select and Art Asylum. And this is a 2014 reissue. This ship, the Enterprise E, is first seen in the 1996 movie Star Trek First Contact. And I gotta tell you, Diamond Select Toys did a heck of a job. And this is the reissue because it originally came out in 2006. And that's before they um, add the little um, sound effects and the hold down lighting button on there. Let's take a look at the details. The painting of the detail is looks terrific. Let's take a look. You see you had the paint on the Aztec patterns right here. And then you got the painting on the escape pods. Looks like it's a, a gray color. I uh, wish it, they painted yellow. That's close to the screen accurate. And then you got the Aztec painting on the well, the top on the bridge is more ex um, escape pods right here. And more of the same right here around the edges. Plus, they also add the details on the pie lines. But this was sadly um, forgot to paint the details back when it first came out in 2007. And there's the, another. And it's missing a lot of details on the previous release but frankly they reissue it in 2013 and they add a little details including the um, red stripes around the um, near the pylons and there's the if you look right here there's the shuttle bay right here I wish they painted it like a, a darker color and then you got the the pylons the, the bizarre collectors are painted in red and some more details right here. And there's the um, the warp nacelles. Now, the nacelles did not light up on the first release, but the second and third and this release, they added little details around it. I've seen someone on YouTube made it add some custom on the warp nacelle by putting LED tapes on the warp nacelles on it, and they probably screwed it up. I mean, screw inside of it, what they did. Probably they, they take it apart some uh, some kind of way, and also it's if you cannot barely see it, there's like a windows around the the ship, but it's probably invisible to see, hard to see on there. I see someone they took a a black pen or a sharpie to add a little. Uh, windows around the saucer and there's the registry number let me zoom in real quick and see NCC 1701E the details around the ship is brilliant I love it and here's the deflector dish is gold and you got more escape pods down here and there's the battery cover with the battery compartment. This ship takes three AAA batteries. And there's the off and try me switch. And there's the details around it. Now, if you look right here on the re-release, it does not have the copyright on there because that was seen on there, but they took it off of there. I don't know where they put the copyright notice around there. They probably put it underneath the, um, the battery compartment. And there's more details right here, including this. That looks like the phaser stripes right here. And there's some more details right into the saucer. And there's the captain's yacht. More pylons right here. The detail is astonishingly. This looks is based on the Star Trek Nemesis uh, ship. Because that's seen in Nemesis. But it also first debuted in First Contact because it was the last Star Trek movie to use 
the filming model before they switched to the CGI model for Insurrection and Nemesis. The Enterprise E is designed by John Evans. And this toy comes with a display stand. I know the display stand is not the best. It always keep falling apart. I always put it back together. There's a little ball joint. And there's the Delta Shield, first seen in DS9 and Star Trek Generation into Voyager. In my opinion, this um, display stand is gr looks great better than the 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 old the the other stands for the original series and the refit toy. Sorry, I sound a little bit nervous, but anyway, let's take a look at the box itself. Let me put it down here. You can see Starship Legends USS Enterprise. Star Trek, the next generation Starship legend I've seen in Nemesis. Here's Captain Picard. Unfortunately, he's wearing a wrong uniform because in the movie First Contact, he has the um, purple um, uniform, the newer uniforms. Here's Warning, Choking Hazards, Art Asylum, as seen in Nemesis, Diamond Select Toys. Here's the box itself featuring sound effects. And if you look right here, you know, if you barely see it very well, but this comes with a extra battery, extra battery cover. If you want to, you can pause the video. Here's the box. I know it's a bit dusty. Here's the top. The other side. Now let's look at it. Let's look at it here. Length 685.7 meters, Dex 29, crew 855, max capacity 9,800, and max speed of work 9.975 plus. And if you re read right here, you mean bring it light so you can see very well. It reads the Sovereign Class Starship Design NCC 1701E. Is the seventh Federation starship to bear the name Enterprise, entering service shortly after the destruction of the Enterprise D in 2361. Under the command of Captain Jean Luc Picard, the top of the line Enterprise E became the newest flagship of Starfleet, undertaking an important diplomatic mission as well as dangerous, da dangerous military ones. The Enterprise has since saved Earth at least twice, the last time from a new Romulan energy weapon that threatened to destroy all life on the planet. There's the information on the website right here. If you can let me zoom in real quick and see to see. Here's the website. All right. Let's look down, let's look on the box side. If you see, copyright 2014, CBS Studio, because this is a re-release. This toy, Diamond Select, is from Diamond Comic Distributor, but we all know that this is located in Timonium, Maryland. The company, Diamond Select Toys, is. All right, let me put the toy into this, in this display stand. Got to be careful, cause hold on. Oops. All right. Now, oops. I hope it's there. We go. Now, when the ship came out, I know in 1996. Playmates did release the Enterprise E in the Star Trek First Contact. Unfortunately, it's based on... I, I used to have the Enterprise E toy from Playmates back in 96. But unfor sadly, it used the early production design. So they couldn't... Um, they used the early production version of the toy. But the work they sells and the... the the, the warp nacelle didn't light up, and so the impulse engine, it 
looks like a prototype ship, but it does not have the screen accurate toy, so it's good try, but Playmates did, well, miss it in or out, but this toy, I really love it. Sorry, if if I screw up the review, I, I apologize. The detail on the ship is looks terrific. Yes. And not only that, they actually went to Paramount and they scanned the actual filming model of the toy itself. And see, look, this looks like it's, it's almost going into warp. Okay. Let's look at the lights and sounds. Here we go. As you can see, there's a lot of LED lights over there. This is awesome. Let me, let me run it through to it again. There's the deflected dish. Ready phases and quantum torpedoes. Fire all weapons. This is a remarkable toy, and I gotta tell you. Now I know there's a LED, there's a LED light bleed on the top of the where the bridge is, and no, there's a Light bleed coming out through the deflector dish and the also on the bottoms of the saucer. I wish Diamond Select will um, use a light on feature to stay on there, but unfortunately, they didn't because of I don't know, probably due to cost cutting to redo it. I, and if you're looking for the Enterprise E online, good luck to finding it because this toy is very pricey on eBay, and especially around Amazon. And I got mine at my local comic book store back in 2014. Okay, and that's it for this week's uh, video. If you have any questions, if I screw up the review, let me know. Put it, leave the comments. Make sure to like the, hit the like button because you don't want to miss the next video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.